Hello and welcome to this brief clip in which we will give an overview of the evaluation procedure of the FWO postdoctoral fellowships. First, we will discuss the different steps of the evaluation process in general. Then we will discuss the task that you as panel member need to perform in order to complete the evaluation. The procedure consists of two main phases. The first phase consists of a written procedure followed by an online panel meeting in which a pre-selection of candidates is made. Then we invite the candidates who were retained in the pre-selection for the second phase, namely the interview. In the first phase, the scientific chair of the panel distributes all applications amongst the members of the panel. All applications to be reviewed at this stage basically meet the formal admissibility requirements. For each application, the chair designates two panel members who will serve as internal reviewers. Panel members are expected to be generalists and in this sense, able to make a global assessment of all applications assigned to them. At the same time, the FWO, through its subcontractor ESF, is looking for two on-topic specialists who can write an external review for the application. It goes without saying that should you, as a panel member, be asked to write an external review for the FWO, you should decline this invitation. Interdisciplinary projects are reviewed in a separate panel. The external reviewers for proposals submitted to this panel are selected in function of the disciplines involved. For multidisciplinary projects, which are submitted to our regular panels, applicants may request that we select an external reviewer from a specific discipline outside of the panel scope. A total of four written evaluation reports are thus prepared in the first phase of the selection process. After the four independent evaluations have been submitted, the rapporteur can get to work. The rapporteur has already been appointed by the scientific chair at the beginning of the first phase, but does not have a specific task at that time. Once the internal and external reviews are available, the rapporteur has to integrate these four reviews into a global evaluation, in which they also may take their own assessment of the application into account. To do this, the rapporteur considers and weighs the different comments of the reviewers for each evaluation criterion to arrive at an overall assessment of the sub-criteria and to issue a score based on the pre-selection scoring grid as provided by FWO. The rapporteur's weighted scores are the starting point for the next step, which is the pre-selection meeting itself. The next step in the process involves selecting a subset of the candidates to be interviewed. Before the panel convenes, the FWO provides an overview of all scores given by the reviewers and the rapporteurs. A preliminary ranking of the candidates in the panel based on the rapporteur's score is also provided. This information forms the basis for the discussion during the pre-selection meeting. This is an online meeting in which the candidates are discussed one by one and a final selection is made of the candidates who will proceed to the next step of the evaluation process, the interview. During the online pre-selection meeting, the panel may adjust the scores they give to a candidate based on scientific arguments. The maximum number of candidates the panel may invite to the interview is twice the number of fellowships available to the panel. As a result of the pre-selection meeting, a number of candidates are rejected. Their applications are not further considered in the evaluation process. The rapporteurs of these applications are asked to complete the feedback reports for these candidates after the pre-selection meeting. Now we arrive at the second phase of the selection process, which is the interview. The FWO invites the candidates selected in step one to a face-to-face -face meeting with the panel in Brussels. During this meeting, the focus is mainly on the qualities of the researcher, including the extent to which they master the project and have an appropriate scientific attitude. Each interviewee receives a new score for the candidate criterion and, where necessary, project scores are adjusted as well. This leads to a final ranking of candidates, which determines who is funded and who is not. In most panels, half of the interviewed candidates are selected to receive a fellowship. 
After the panel meeting, feedback reports for all candidates are compiled by the rapporteurs, who may adjust their original report to reflect the panel's final decision. Comments on the interview should certainly be included in these feedback reports. We will now briefly discuss all the concrete actions you need to take as a panel member. These actions are grouped into three phases. The first phase is preparation. The second phase relates to the pre-selection and the steps leading up to it. And the third phase to the selection interviews. During the first phase, it is important that you access the FWO ePortal. The FWO shares all applications and evaluations through this online platform. You will also submit all reviews through this platform. There is a separate instruction video available on how to navigate the ePortal, should this be helpful to you. As part of the first phase, the FWO will also invite you to indicate for each application submitted to your panel whether you have a conflict of interest. At the same time, you will also be able to indicate how closely your expertise aligns with each application in order to facilitate the distribution of applications amongst the panel members. There is again a separate instruction video on submitting the conflicts of interest and confidence rate information to the FWO. The distribution of applications is done by the scientific chair who is supported by the FWO in this task. For each application, two internal reviewers are appointed at this stage, as well as a rapporteur. You will be informed when this step is completed about which applications you should assess as internal reviewer or as rapporteur. Please be aware that different deadlines apply to the internal review and to the rapporteur reports. The second phase of the evaluation process consists of the pre-selection and the preparation of this important meeting. This phase begins with panel members writing the internal review reports assigned to them. You make an independent assessment of the application using the provided scoring grid by FWO. For each application, two panel members write an internal review. Simultaneously, two on-topic experts prepare an external review. In step four, the rapporteur integrates the four reviews into a synthesis report, report which integrates the different opinions of the reviewers. Like all other reviewers, the rapporteur uses FWO scoring grid and issues a score for all of the predetermined criteria. This step is followed by step five, in which all reviews and synthesis reports are shared with the entire panel. In the days leading up to the online pre-selection meeting, the panel receives a summary of all of the individual reviewer scores and is requested to prepare the online pre-selection meeting. You will receive an overview of the preliminary ranking of the candidates based on the rapporteur scores and a brief analysis of the scores given by the panel members and the external reviewers. This will allow you to prepare the online pre-selection meeting in detail and to identify any areas of concern that should certainly be discussed during the meeting. During step six, the pre-selection meeting itself, the panel has the opportunity to determine a panel score for each application, taking the rapporteur score and the individual reviews into account. On the basis of the panel score, a new ranking reflecting the relative quality of the proposals is made. During this step, the panel decides which candidates will be retained for interview. After step six, the FWO asks the rapporteurs to write the feedback reports for the candidates rejected at this stage of the evaluation process. These reports, which are based on the rapporteur's original synthesis report, should reflect the panel's consensus decision made during the pre-selection meeting and should align with the final scores given by the panel. In the third phase of the evaluation process, this consists of the interviewing the applicants who made it through the pre-selection. In step eight, panel members should prepare the interview meeting by formulating questions they will ask the candidates during the interview. The two internal reviewers and the rapporteur are of course expected to prepare some questions, but other panel members are strongly encouraged, encouraged to prepare questions as well. These questions should cover all evaluation criteria namely the candidate as well as the project. In this preparation, it is useful to consult the interview scoring grid 
and based on this formulate specific questions to allow you to assess for examples the candidates com competencies the groundbreaking nature of the research and its methodology during step nine the panel convenes in brussels and interviews the candidates the panels issues a new score for the criterion candidate and can also adjust the project score when duly motivated a final selection of candidates who receive the fellowship is now made. After the interview meeting, each candidate receives feedback from the FWO. To this end, in step 10, the rapporteur should amend the feedback with findings from the interview. This feedback should be submitted one week after the interview meeting via the e-portal. And this then concludes the evaluation of the postdoctoral fellows. This concludes the video on the evaluation procedure for the FWO postdoctoral fellowships. Should you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact your account administrator. Many thanks for your interest in our review processes and for now, goodbye.